Hello, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel of Avorian. This is probably sort of a beginner's guide, a survival guide, <laughs> if you like, uh, for beginners. I remember, it kind of drugged my memory a little bit last night when I was playing this game. I, it's been five months since I've played this game, so I was coming back to it because I was excited about what's going to get released shortly, and that's the newly uh, procedural generated vessels and ships in the game. So at the moment they're like sticks and <laughs> they're not very pretty to look at but the new procedure procedural generated ships that was advertised uh, from the developer looks really awesome so if you want to have a look at one of the videos that I'm sure you'll find it online on YouTube so what sparked my interest about doing this video was really for anybody that's really started this game I remember when I first started I got it I had a bit of a rough time in the game <laughs> I was running into asteroids and stuff like that and I really didn't have a concept of, of how to build my ship or anything like that so I'm, I'm here to give advice on the early stages mainly talk about iron to titanium and then to nanite not really onto nanite but uh, the the direction in which you're going in so the whole game's uh, centered around you progressing towards the center of the galaxy and to discover what's going on why there's a big rifts in the galaxy and that and all the rest of it and that's the story side of of Orion, which i'll let you discover on your own i'm not going to tell you all about it so when you first start off you're basically an iron little uh, vessel and you really can't take any hits you're 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 a small puppy in a big galaxy basically <laughs> <laughs> and getting into fights with the Zotan, which is the alien race in the game, and also pirates, is a bad day in office for you if you try to do that. If you have, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the advice I'm going to give to you. I think the best thing that you can do in the early stages of the game is to set out your ship for mining and scavenging salvaging so scavenging salvaging but it's really salvaging so why those two sort of pathways for this game because at the moment trading can get really complicated for a beginner and it can be overwhelming the amount of stations that are in the game and where to go it can be quite quite much um, I have to admit it can be sometimes I have to get on YouTube and look up oh where am I supposed to sell that or where am I supposed to pick that up from so the best and safest bet for you to get going and make good credits at the same time is to do mining and salvage mining safe to do in green sectors so as you jump around into different gateways you'll notice that they'll be green they'll be highlighted green um, which is a safe sector to sort of jump into um, they change color the factions depending on your you know sort of where you sit with a faction but if you start off in normal most factions are going to be somewhat friendly towards you so mining in those sectors is the best way to go about conducting business and how you go about mining there's two different mining lasers in the game one's just your normal mining laser and the other one's a R mining laser and you want to be heading towards R mining lasers because you get they're a lot more efficient to mine ore massive massive amount we're talking 60% better efficiency to 60 or even more 70 80% more efficient generally speaking R mining turrets and a tip that I want to give you is always look to arm your ship with independent targeting when it comes to mining lasers and I say this because you don't want to be sitting there clicking your mouse button down trying to mine particular ore it's going to get somewhat boring for you so the, my best bet is my best advice is to use independent targeting just always use independent targeting if you can I I always do I always even if it's a little bit more less efficient I'm always going to go for independent targeting when it comes to mining lasers because the amount of lasers you want to equip to your ship you you want to be you want to be efficient as possible in regards to you, you don't want to get a sore thumb 
and it's just the way I play. You can play differently. It's up to you, but you'll know what I mean sooner or later. And that comes to salvaging uh, lasers as well. And the reason why I suggest you put salvaging lasers on your ship as well is you're going to be scavenging behind uh, pirates that have attacked the sector. So when pirates attack a sector, your the frigates from that alliance faction are going to come in and take care of the pirates. Now it's always good when you when you jump into a sector is to look out to see where the frigates and the destroyers are of that faction. So when you go and you see go mining, you know exactly where they are. So if trouble does warp into your sector, you head for that frigate. <laughs> and they'll close in and then you can spin around and then wait for the carnage to finish. A little tip, just a little tip, is I know that we've talked about uh, putting mine lasers and salvaging lasers on your vessel and gearing your vessel out uh, to 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 the early stages of the game like that. Um, the only weapon that I kind of put on my ship at those low levels is defense point defense weapons because they play they can play two roles for you. A point defense weapon can destroy torpedoes, and if you change it to target. Uh, enemy ships fire it's got a decent range to fire it, uh, pepper it um, pirate ships now I said you shouldn't get into combat with them but if you're smart you let the destroyers and the frigates of the um, alliance faction come in and start doing the damage the pirate AI ship will start targeting them you can come in s sneakily and just pepper them just a little bit just to do one or two damage and just back away and then when the pirates are being dealt with by the uh, by your friendly faction you're gonna get ripped for that and you're gonna get credit for it so you're gonna you're gonna make a little bit of money on the side and then you're cruising you've you made 50,000 credits or whatever the faction has decided to pay for you and thank you for your services for doing two damage <laughs> and you can come in and salvage up and the main idea with salvaging lasers is not really to get raw material off ships it is designed your your main focus is to get system upgrades and and new weapons or mining weapons or whatever it is that gets dropped another tip that i'd like to sort of pass on is uh, get a mining chip upgrade this will allow you to identify what's in the areas like hidden asteroids that have got hidden um, material inside them like titanium you know you get bigger asteroids that you have to cut through I mean one last night I was mining that night and it's had 400 400k uh, material inside that one that night boulder and it was hidden and if I didn't have the weapon system uh, the mining system in it to identify uh, what's got ore in it then yeah you're gonna you <laughs> I would have missed it I spent probably an hour trying to mine that one particular one and I had four waves of Zotan and pirates come into that zone so <laughs> hey it's worthwhile and having our mining torrents really helps if you've got a running a mixture it doesn't matter if you've got mining torrents and our mining torrents on your on on your ship my best bet is my advice is to split them up so when I say by splitting them up is assigning uh, say uh, number one on your on your keyboard or whatever number you want to assign to one to normal tar um, uh, mining torrents or salvaging torrents and two to the R mining ones so and I say this because when you find hidden asteroids with with material inside them you can flat out mine it right up to the last little bit of health with all your lasers then switch over to your R mining torrents and then just get the last little bit of health from that big boulder that's hidden and you'll get all of that you'll get all of that ore go into your cargo bay instead of wasting so you instead of wasting so much so switch between uh, your mining lasers when when dealing with hidden asteroids some of the stuff that's not hidden I don't bother switching over I just go into mining mode 
and so that will keep you busy and give you and you can sell your ore to resource depots and by selling ore as well it gives you rep so it's a two two-fold sort of system i do recommend you give this a shot in your next um, when you're playing because as you as you get further in not until you get to nanite and nanite is where you are able to start putting shields on your ship and that's when the game you're able to start being more of a marauder you know and taking the fight to the enemy and then when you do take the fight to the enemy you're going to have salvaging lasers on your ship you're going to be up to date with your salvaging lasers and your mining lasers because even when you get to uh, nanite you're going to have to still do a bit of mining and because you're not quite at the stage of putting uh, fighters uh, mining fighters onto your ship it's not until uh, trinium that you're able to start uh, rocking hangers and all the rest of it so you're going to have the best mining lasers and you're going to have the best salvaging lasers when you get to nanite and your next ship is probably going to be uh, a mixture of both i wouldn't get rid of your salvaging lasers or your mining lasers because you're going to still need it into the next step but once you get to nanite you're gonna you're gonna be able to hold your own go toe to toe with the enemy then at least for some time before yeah so anyway that's that's the sort of advice i wanted to sort of get off my chest and sort of share with any new beginners is, is the survival guide <laughs> sort of from that iron stage the initial stages to uh, uh nanite so yeah um hopefully this has been helpful for you and i, I sort of do i got sucked into this game again so <laughs> oh, too many late nights but anyway uh all right peace out and yeah see you in the galaxy